happening? Yeah, what's happening? What's that? That's it, you got it. <laughs> All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of What's Happening? This is the somewhat weekly series where I fill you in on the gaps between videos here on the Burndown YouTube channel and kind of try to make sense of the hodgepodge of stuff I throw at you guys uh, here on a weekly basis. So today I've got a couple envelopes uh, that contain stickers, so I know what they are, but we're going to open them up. I'll let you know who they're from. I want to give these guys shout outs for sending me stickers. Ultimately, I, I think I sent them stickers and they just returned the favor. Also, um, Lyle Barnett has a channel. It's called Beer Money Racing. It's false. I want to say off the top of my head, um, I've been in contact with him a little bit. Very nice guy. And I sent him stickers. He doesn't have any. He has shirts, so I'll probably just have to pull the trigger and get a shirt at some point. Um, speaking of that, I reached out to him because I like the Beer Money Racing shirt that he has. I really like the artwork for the Beer Money, uh, what is it, the Fox Body that they had on the 10K Challenge. So he gave me the uh, name of the guys that did it. So I reached out to them. We're kind of going back and forth on that thing. We'll see if, if we can end up with a cool Malibu um, piece of art. So at a certain point, I might make sure that you guys let me know what you think. Uh, I'd probably have to do pre-orders. I don't even know what they would cost. So that's kind of a fiasco in itself. But I know that I can get stickers because my boy David at SoCal Sticker Kings um, is cool. So speaking of stickers, let's open up a couple of these. So this first one, this is from Jack Roberts. Found him on Sloppy and then also he's a 4.8 SBE LS motor record holder. So here is his sticker, Squirrel Tune. And it's got a little squirrel. This is his channel, so go check him out. He's getting rolling, he's getting started, a lot of good info. Um, very nice, straightforward guy. And yeah, go check his channel out if you like going fast with LS motors and you really want to see the you know, inner workings, I guess, and bounce stuff off of somebody who's actually done it. Um, this guy has actually done it. My car goes, you know, and it's, I pride myself that it's kind of stayed in one piece for quite a while. But the problem is you start talking to guys like, you know, you get Happel from Sloppy, a little encouragement there, and then you start talking to him and a few others. Next thing you know, it's like, why am I not throwing the kitchen sink at this? So uh, my motor may not last, you know, very much longer. We'll see how many more outings we can go, but I think definitely needs to get turned up, especially after talking to Jack. I'm like, oh man, I got all kinds of room to party. So this one is from William Soto. I sent him a few stickers and it was funny because he hit me up a while ago, and then every once in a while, like I'll do a run of stickers. I'm like, oh, who wants some? And then some things just get lost in translation. So he hit me up a while ago and was like, oh, I never got my stuff. So anyway, long story short, <laughs> this this is actually pretty. I think this is gonna go on my computer. This is pretty good. Uh, it's a little emoji guy flipping flipping you off. So this is I forget what he said. So you can comment on here, William, what the name of this little guy is, but. Uh, yeah, he's actually upset, little shithead guy. So yeah, that is fun. I got those down, so I got some new cool stickers. We'll throw these down on the computer, or the tuning computer, or the wall of shame. Um, probably both of these and just go on the tuning computer. And um, as far as updates go, now that we got those out of the way, thank you very much for the stickers, you guys. Um, again, Squirrel Tune, go subscribe to Lyle. Uh, they have some fun stuff. That I think they're gonna start making some pretty good content over there and uh yeah go check them out give us some love if you guys like my stuff you probably like his stuff even more um anyway on to news for the channel the videos it seems like i haven't been touching the twin Tobago, but i have i'm just kind of behind on editing and then i've also kind of come to realize with doing these videos what i was doing initially was i would take like a whole weekend and pretty much film and then compress all of that into like one video and it would be kind of lengthy and then it kind of just jump around like be like oh this day and then the next day so I, what i've kind of started to realize is i can just make them a little shorter i can focus on something that might be important and then just bring you guys that video bring you along so I, if i do and continue to do that route i may be able to uh, up the content a little bit more but we'll see how it goes i don't want to wear myself out too bad trying to make uh, videos especially stuff just making videos to make videos 
uh, I don't know. I don't want to drag you guys through that, especially now the content it's I'm trying to make some stuff. I hope you guys are interested still, but like wiring videos are not the most fun. Uh, I'm doing brake lines and brake work on the Twinnebago and uh, it, and I can't even really show like I can show like a time lapse, but it's so boring. So we're trying to kind of make it fun, at least keep you involved. And then hopefully pretty soon here we'll get into some fun stuff. So as far as the Twinnebago is concerned, just to let you know, it's kind of a spoiler alert, but uh, I got a hydro boost set up in. I got all the lines made last weekend. I will have the soft lines made this week and hopefully I can bleed the system up and make sure that it kind of works before we start putting the rest of the engine components and things in. So if that all works out, I do have to do wheel cylinders, but the damn thing is so close to my gate, like on that side, I couldn't take wheels off and hell, even the ones on this side, it, I could take this, this side off, but I can't take that side off. Anyway, I want to see if I can bleed up what's there and get it enough to where it'll move around. So if I can get it to run and then get the thing to move, um, if they bleed up and they're kind of decent, at least maybe I can just kind of jog it around or whatever. But ultimately I need to be able to pull it out so I can take the wheels off, which I do have wheels for it. Um, I need to send those out to get those powder coated. Maybe when the epidemic lifts or I can find a powder coat spot, maybe we can kind of send those out once this thing runs to get ahead of, of that portion of it. But uh, the brakes, all I have left so the lines are in. I got to cut a line lock in. Um, I have a proportioning valve. Now my buddy has one that he's going to donate. So we got to cut in a line lock. Uh, we got to cut in a proportioning valve just to get ahead of it. I left the original distribution block in there. But the proportioning valve, if it's already in there, I can use it or choose not to. Other than if I need it and I don't have it after everything's bled, I don't want to deal with that. So uh, that's what we have left to do on brakes. I'm going to try to get that accomplished by this weekend. <clears throat> and then uh, if that all works out, we can start final assembly on, on things and wire up the ECU and hopefully see if this thing runs. And it's a lot easier said than done. Um, I wish I could move a bit faster on it, but it is what it is. I'm a one-man army. <laughs> it's been super freaking hot here, but we are trucking along. And then speaking of that, I'm bringing you guys some Malibu videos because I was all gangbusters on the Winnebago trying to get it finished. LS Fest was supposed to be like last weekend. Um, obviously they pushed it back, the COVID stuff, all of that happened, right? Well, my car had basically sat, I took it off the trailer and it pretty much kind of sat besides like the dyno stuff we were kind of screwing around with from a uh, zip tie drag. So I was just going to take that car over to LS Fest with me, but the focus was to get the Twinnebago there. Now that I got a little bit of time and I'm feeling a lot better about the Twinnebago, I'd like to revamp and upgrade, upgrade and update the car a little bit and see if we can't click off like a high nine second pass in Vegas with the car. So since I have more time, you got to stack more shit on your plate, right? That's just, I guess that's how I do it. But it just breaks up the monotony. Like the motorhome is awesome, but it is a big giant project and I've just been chewing on it. So sometimes I just have like adult ADD and I want to do something a little different. Um, as soon as this ban and all that stuff's lifted, I want to start testing my car. So I want to make sure that thing's lined out when the track opens. I don't want to be the idiot that has the car still on jack stands, um, not working. So I've got the car weighed. Um, I've made a few changes. I'm trying to get some weight off the front. It was a 60-40 split, so 60% of the weight up front. Um, so I'm gonna try to shift some weight around. I got a couple new suspension components. Um, and then I'm hoping maybe a sway bar. And then maybe if I can pull off some shocks before we do LS Fest, we'll see. But I'd like a nice set of like double adjustables because it doesn't make sense to just buy singles or just to buy a, a regular shock. I'd rather just not have anything and just get the doubles because that's where the car needs to be. Um, so we'll see kind of how that goes. Uh, I'd rather put the the sway bar in <clears throat> or the anti roll bar. I don't know. I, I, when it comes to anti roll bar or the shocks, I don't maybe maybe the shocks first. You guys, you let me know on there what you think too. Maybe I'll ask that question because an anti roll package is about three hundred. Vikings are about four. So. Whichever one benefit me more, that's what I'd rather do. I don't know if I can buy both, but you never know. We will see how this thing all shakes down. So if I can line some suspension out, move some weight around, you know, it's still gonna be on the same tire. I got some front wheels and that's pretty much it. And hopefully some shakedown, some, some testing with the car. And, uh, oh, I got a surprise. We got a little uh, 
a new baby for the car coming too. So that'll be fun. I'll keep you guys posted. We'll do a, an unboxing there. So other than that, that's kind of what we're working on. Um, still busy every day, working on the Mustang, thankfully. My wife is here. She's working the boys home. Uh, I think they're gonna open daycare like next week or something or month, month or I don't know. They're talking about doing that. So at least stuff hopefully kind of starts getting back to normal. But um, I feel like the clock is kind of ticking again for LS Fest West. Um, even though it's not, I'd like to put my best foot forward considering I've had extra time. Granted, for a little period there, I was like everybody else. I just kind of clammed up and didn't know it was going to happen. And now I feel a little bit better about the situation. So it's full steam ahead back on the Tornabago. Um, I'm even dabbling with the Malibu a little bit to see if we can get a little further. Um, and then the other main thing I want to bring up is I got a surprise from Malibu coming. And we are working on some sticker art for the Malibu. Uh, I've been asked about it a few times. I think it'd be fun to send that out with the other stickers that you know I give away and put on the website and all that fun stuff. And then at some point, I'd really like to make a Malibu shirt. And if I have the artwork, I can make onesie twosie, so it's not a big deal. But if I had enough people interested that would actually rock a shirt, um, and I could get a batch, and then we could just keep it all friendly and cheap enough, I'll do that for you guys too if I can. And then whatever. I can say we'll just pass it along because I'd rather have people wearing shirts and having stickers on things than trying to make some money on it because the reality is I'm not going to move enough product at this point to really make any money and I'd rather spread the word and get the channel out there and uh, get it to the point to one day I could you know, maybe make a couple bucks doing it. So that's it. I guess my time is up. My phone is ringing. I got to go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, got another video coming so stick around. I'll see you guys. Tomorrow with another one, I'm out.